All right, great question about strength and balance. What can I do at home for my strength and balance? This is in the Catholic Fit curriculum the entire family can do. I have my 13-year-old daughter doing this who's growing like a weed and she's playing some basketball and volleyball. I have my 78-year-old clients who have osteopenia, right, the bone density concerns. They're doing this exercise. But anyone who wants on the, works on the strength and balance, I, I continue to do this for, so my hips and my balance feel good so I can continue to play recreational basketball, things like that. So let's get to it. A lot of different balance variations. We're always focusing on one leg, okay? You can always just stand on both legs and just be aware. If you're standing here like this, I know you can't see my legs, but um, are you putting more weight on more of your left leg or are you putting more weight on more of your right leg? Are you shifting back on your heels? Maybe there's a good chance you're shifting onto your toes. So first, just kind of find that balance first. We're gonna do the same thing on one leg. So again, put all your weight on your left leg or, or most of your weight. Put it on your right leg, bring it back to your heels and hips, then come forward onto your toes. Okay, now just find the center of all those things. It's a nice way to kind of get centered and then stand tall. Now, if we work on one leg, we can do a number of things. I gotta get back far enough that you can see my legs. What I have here is, this is a, just a 12 inch step. Okay, let me see that close enough. All right, that's a 12 inch step. And then the other step I have is a four inch step, all right? This is like your traditional Jane Fonda aerobic step, right? That's a four inch step, but you can start doing these on the floor, okay? And then your, your normal residential step going up and down uh, inside is probably gonna be about eight inches, and then your porch step might be eight inches, 10 inches, okay? Any of these steps can work, okay? So the key is this. I'm gonna stand on the 12 inch step and kind of show you, just so you can see my feet in the camera, what you might start with. Stand up nice and tall and just go back, touch your toe back and come back up. So most of my weight is on my front right leg and touch. I'm just going back and barely touching and coming back up. Then I can vary the distance. I can step back further and back again. And as you do that, can you maintain your balance on that front leg? And what happens to that front leg? Does it buckle out to the side? Does it buckle in? Um, do you fall out to the outside of your foot? If you want to do this barefoot or in your socks, it's even better to really feel what your foot is doing. All right, as my sister just had, if you've had bunion surgery, it's a good one to do to figure out, are you really avoiding that bunion and turning to the outside of your foot, which probably means you're turning to the outside of your knee and the outside of your hip and loading up all this tension the whole um, outside. So that's what we're looking at. But then we graduate up to the step and one foot is gonna stay on the step this is where your strength and balance comes into play. I step back here, maintaining my balance, and then the strength to come back up each time. So balance and then strength coming up into this tall position. I'm gonna be looking straight ahead the entire time, eyes on the horizon, tall spine, okay? What happens from the side is that sometimes we, we kind of focus on these things and we look down, you know, and we're, and we're doing this, and we feel like we're pretty balanced, but we've lost our posture, we've lost our spinal integrity and our, and our, our, our length and our height. Especially for my tall 13 year old daughter, I want her to be as tall as she can all the time. We have a lot of strength with that tall spine. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, and what I can do from the back is I can step straight back, just for about 10 per leg, and then I can also do a little bit of a curtsy step. All right, so I can do kind of a, what we call a crossover step back, and we call it a step back because we're focusing on your ability to be strong, balanced, and control this step back and touch and back up. So again, you've just gone for a 10 minute walk, 20 minute walk, stop on your front porch and just do a couple of these, step back and then come back up. If you feel good with that, then you can go to a 12 inch step. And this is where I start these all the time. And I just kind of feel out, what does my knee feel like? What do my ankles feel like today? What do my hips feel like? It's a nice prerequisite to a genuflect. So we do those as well. Step back and up. Okay, so that's all we're doing is a step back. So again, start on the floor. Just start on the floor and just see if you can you control. Step back and then back up again. Step back and back up again. And then go to a shorter step, maybe an eight inch step. Um, if you only have your final point, if you only have like your stairs, maybe going up and down from the basement, um, and maybe your foot doesn't fit, um, as if you're walking up, we, we tend to be on the balls of your feet when we're walking up. You can go sideways and step this way. So if my stairs are going up this way, I can stand here and just step off. 
and then come back up. So I can do that. The key here is that my knee stays straight and I'm using all of my right leg. All right? So step backs for strength and balance. And what happens is, and let me just give you one final kind of variation, okay? Because some people see the Catholic Fit exercises and they say, oh, they're, um, they're pretty elementary. They're pretty simple to do. Which again, we're using your body weight on most of these exercises. But let me show you the difference. This is the starting exercise. I'm going to step back and come back up tall. Step back, come up tall. After I get good with this here, I'm going to step back, but I can drive up and catch. So up and catch, right? So I'm working on my explosiveness. So whether you have a young athlete in the house, or if you want to work on your layup, or your strength and jogging up a hill, if you're a jogger or runner, you get a little more explosive. So slow down at first because we hide a lot of our balance when we move too fast. Mo forward momentum hides that balance sometimes, any kind of balance challenge. So go slow first, warm it up. But then if you want to go a little faster, get your arms involved. All right, when I stop here, my right knee is up, so my left arm is up. I'm holding my little pen for my phone here. And then, boom, you can make it a little more explosive or you can drive there. All right, and strike that pose at the top, working on your athletic strong single leg balance as well. So you can run the entire gamut with this. If you're concerned with your bone density and you've gone in for bone density tests after the age of 60, 65, 70, that's a great one to do because every time you hit the floor, that shock to your system is gonna work your bones, your entire skeleton. If you're a young athlete or if you have a young athlete in the home, and you're working on their growing body because their bones and muscles are growing at different um, rates and they're struggling with their coordination a little bit, this is a great exercise you can do with minimal to no equipment, all right? If you're looking for a good workout, I just did a seven and a half minute demonstration. I'm breathing, my heart rate is up, my breathing rate is up, my body temperature is up. It could be a cardiorespiratory workout as well. All right, try those out. As always, comment below, tell me what you think. God bless you for taking care of your body, for taking care of the, your temple, the Holy Spirit. And if you don't feel like exercising today, you're just, you know, checking these things out, you know, say a prayer for those who are having a hard time getting their exercise in today, maybe because they're sick or they're injured or unmotivated. Maybe hop up and exercise for them. Do an active prayer for them. Uh, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Whoops, turned off.